All right, so there are our background graphics in there. Now, you see that the text is a little bit uh, dark, hard to read right now, but we're going to change that in a little bit. Uh, before I do too much with the text, I actually want to bring in the other graphics that we're going to work with. The reason being is that some of those graphics will uh, make this text easier to read for the tab text, so I don't necessarily want to make a global change at this point. So let's go ahead and bring in those tab graphics now then. So go up to Insert and Picture. And I'll select my first graphic, Skype, double-click it, and I'll repeat for the next two. So QuizMaker only lets us bring in one image at a time right now, but uh, I could easily have dragged these in, but it dragged them in from Explorer, but it's only three images, so it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and align these three right here. The uh, idea here is that they're going to go on the uh, right side, so we'll actually do a little bit of formatting and just kind of positioning these in place just to get the overall idea here and use my arrow keys to nudge them down. Once I have them roughly in place, I can shift click each of them and I want to align them. So the first thing I want to do is align them to the left and then I'm going to space them out uh, vertically. So now I have a nice even uh, alignment with these graphics. With them selected though, I'm going to go ahead and push them to the back so I can right click on any of them as long as they're all selected. I'm just going to right click and choose send it back, send it back. And that just puts them below everything else. So in the next movie, we'll go ahead and begin repositioning the text choices over these placeholders we just inserted.